Hey guys, it's your guy, Turtle Guy, and today I am back with another random review. I think this is number three, but anyway. So, yes, today I will be reviewing DC's Legends of Tomorrow Season 1. Didn't see it up there. Anyway, so this time I'm going to review it a little differently. So, basically, I'm going to do a bit of a worded review. So for every episode I get a limited amount of I get a limited amount of words to review. So episode one I get one word, episode three I get three words, episode six I get six words. Now you're probably thinking, oh, so in episode fifteen you get fifteen words. No, so from episode ten it kinda goes a little differently. So episode ten I get one word, episode twelve I get three, yada yada, I think you get the gist of it. Anyway. So we're going to do that, and then after I'll say a couple of my favorite things, things I liked. Now before I get into the word of review, I'll be honest, this season, compared to the other seasons of Legends, was pretty low. And maybe lost a couple of viewers for the show in general, but I don't know. Anyway, so, without any further ado, let's get into the word of review. <clears throat> Episode 1, Pilot. Legendary. Episode 2, Pilot Part 2, uh, two-part, two-parter? Episode 3, Blood Ties, a forgettable episode. 4, White Knights, from Russia with love. Episode 4, Failsafe, a prison break, you say. Episode 6, Star City 2046. Favorite episode and some flashpoint foreshadowing. Episode 7, Marooned, Time Pirates of the Temporal Zone. Episode 8, Nine of the Hawk. Hawk monsters? Really? What the heck, show? Left Behind. Ooh, League of Shadows. But why Ray and Kendra ship? Episode 10, Prodigy. Weird. Episode 11, The Magnificent Eight. Hardcore Hex. Episode 12, Last Refuge. Ah, Terminator logic. Episode 13, Leviathan. There goes the budget. Episode 14, River of Time. No one dies in Legends. Episode 15, Destiny. Except for the except the best character dies. Episode 16, Legendary. A cliffhanger with little impact. And that's my word of review. So comment down below if you want to see more of these worded reviews, but anyway, let's get into episodes I liked and episodes I, well, not hated, but forgot. Yeah, the first episode, or not the first episode, but the third episode I found very forgettable. I, I, honestly, it took me a minute or two to remember what the episode was. I even read, like, the synopsis, nothing. I got nothing on the episode. But the two episodes I liked, and I dare say even expired, inspired the show through the next few seasons, was episode 6, Star City 2046. I don't know why this episode I liked so much. It was just futuristic, and they kind of went a little wacky in terms as well. I don't know why I liked it. Maybe it was just the future Oliver Queen or something, but I loved it. Oh yes, and I did forget to mention, this review will have spoilers. The other episode I liked was episode 11, The Magnificent Eight. This was another thing I just loved, loved for its pure wackiness. Them going to a wild west, meeting a cowboy, Jonah Hex, who I love, he's perfectly cast, and they don't overuse him, so to speak. He is in every season, but I don't feel he... I don't think he would suit being as a full Legends character. I would. I prefer him just being a guest star every season. Anyway, the finale I didn't really like because, one, the big bad fight made no sense. I don't know how they bet him. I watched it twice. There is some explanation in there, but I, I don't know. It's just so confusing and... They bet him anyway. Now, speaking of the main villain, let's get into characters. I'm gonna start with Vandal Savage. He was a pretty, I'm pretty sure they make a joke about it in season two, which is a much better season. 
uh, yes, this is the season one review that's really a trailer for my season two review. He's well, a bit of a lackluster villain, and also, I know they killed him like three times, but could he not show up again in later seasons? I guess not. Um, I don't know, it just wasn't very threatening or something, I don't know. I must watch that scene where they make a joke of him again, but anyway, I didn't think much of him, and he was quite a confusing character. Like the last season, the minute he found the meteorite, he just, oh, he came up with a big old plan. So weird, I don't know. It's like, I don't know, destroying the world or something with meteorites or turning back to... I don't know, super confusing. I don't understand it. Then, let's get on to the heroes in this piece, or should I say legends. First, we had Rip. He was okay, but I'm not gonna say he improves later in later seasons because he kind of disappears in later seasons. He's not showed up as much. Shows up as much. Sorry, I'm a little flued up. If you can't guess, I hope you can. Anyway, so Rip, I felt a bit of a boring character, and he always went on. Oh. My family died because of Vandal Savage. And that's kind of all he talks about. I know, okay, it is a bit of a tragic origin, but... They could have fund him up a bit more later on. But no, he was just all... I don't know, very centric. And he was quite... Dull, so to speak. But there were other not dull characters. Firestorm. I loved Firestorm in general. Just the... Interactions, I loved Martin Stein, and Jax was pr At times, I feel he comes across a bit annoying, but I love Stein. And also, little shout out to Cybercrime. He's the first person <laughs> to mention that Stein actually messes up the timeline. Or, I don't know. He's here. And then, okay, I don't know. I just find it funny. So, little shout out to Cybercrime, because he always notices that. Anyway, the next characters, I mean, all the other characters are pretty fine. Ray was okay, but I don't know, as I said in the, run, the worded reviews, I don't know why they put him together with Kendra. That makes no sense. I suppose he wasn't doing anything, so making a random romantic arc was okay. Mick and Snart. Mick was a bit... Well, he didn't really do much, and then... Spoiler alert, he was actually, I think his name was Kronos, yeah, or someone, the evil time traveler that was chasing him. Oh, yeah, he was a bit weird, and later on in the season, his character improves, like he's not all, at, well, I don't know. But later on, his character does improve, but for the first half of the season, he's pretty boring, or I don't know, there's just something unlikable about the character for some reason. Just something, I don't know, something off. Star was amazing. And unfortunately, because CW logic, you must kill a popular character. And then struggle to bring him back in the weirdest of ways for The Flash and Legends. Okay. Um, Sarah, I, I liked, I didn't like her going back to the League of Shadows. But I do like the League of Shadows, on the other hand, so yeah. The last episode where she found out her sister died, yeah, again, spoiler alert for Arrow, spoiler alert for all CW shows, where Quentin said, oh, yeah, your sister's dead, um, and she was like, oh, we should go back in time, and then, yeah, that won't get annoying at all. That was the only thing that really put me down about her character, but everything else was pretty good. And, you know what? Just a little honorable mention of Gideon. I love that AI who they changed the voice actor of for some reason for Legends. But I love Gideon. Oh no, yes. I forgot. Two forgettable characters. I mean memorable. Yes, I am indeed talking about Hawkwoman and Hawkman. I hated these characters. I don't know why. I tried, but... First of all, spoiler alert again, I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep doing it. Hawkman dies, Hawkman, sorry. Hawkman dies, I think it's the fourth or the fifth, I don't know. All of these are so confusing. 
Anyway, Hawkman dies, and then there's a weird thing with Hawkman's Hawkman's body. It's really I hate Hawkman. Why don't they just get Hawk person or Bird person? Yeah. Anyway, Kendra was just uh, I don't know. These two characters I just found incredibly boring, especially their story with Vandal Savage, and then they just left, never to return again. I don't know, every episode they were just boring, and then some, I don't know, they'd have a kid, or like they'd meet a future version of Kenya. It was just very confusing, and I didn't like it. Now, you're probably thinking, I didn't like most of this series, and I really didn't. Only parts of it, but... I will say, and I say it all the time, I know Cross Void, Cross Void Films watched this entire season, and he didn't like it, and for the past ages I've tried, I've been trying to get him to watch season 2, and let's just say, let's wait until my season 2 review, because I love season 2, all the other seasons of Legends are amazing, this is pretty lackluster, I mean, I just kind of watch a recap, and you probably get all the things you'd need to know, if... So if you want to check out this series, it does get better, I guess. But if you want to get another show that is just great from the finish, then I'd highly, from the start to the finish, then I'd watch it. But I would suggest Legends does get better with time. <laughs> with time. Anyway, so check it out. If you wish. Um, more random reviews coming soon, I promise you that. So this is your guy, Turtle Guy, saying bye, guys!